People logged on today at reset, went to the tower and saw, oh my goodness, the tower's taken. There's a bunch of taken, taken blights. Taken blights, yeah. It's similar to the Dreaming City when the curse is, is in like full effect. So like the Dreaming City curse or that taken, taken shenanigans have come to the tower and it was a twofold it was a it was a pincer maneuver of drama because we got two different types of drama involved in that the first was a lot of people including myself tweeted out just screenshots of the tower like i know i did paul tassi uh talked about it it is the main social hub of the entire game a lot of people are going to mention this. However, there was a portion of the community who was upset by this because they were like, you guys are posting spoilers. Now, c- to me, I'm pretty sensitive to spoilers. Like, I don't talk about the data mine stuff, right? I'm not, I'm not, I don't talk about stuff, you know, weeks ahead or anything like that. But people were like, so I tried not to do that stuff. I just didn't even consider a, a change in the tower appearance a spoiler i can see where people are coming from they wanted to log on and they would have been like holy crap themselves maybe i should have included a spoiler tag looking back but t- again this is like this has never happened before right i mean the last the times that this has happened is like when we have a change in tower appearance for the dawning or for the halloween event yeah. a- and and in which case, Bungie is posting spoilers when they show the screenshot of what it's going to look like in the dawning, right? No one right. gets mad at Bungie, but your boy Kakis does it now and freaks out. <laughs> and mean, the funny thing about this to me was was not so much... I guess the funny thing was that it wasn't that people were just kind of like, hey, man, maybe next time don't... I really would have loved... That's not what they did. They like took to the streets and like for Paul up, Tassi, up, yeah. up there on Reddit, like one of the most upvoted posts is Paul Tassie must be stopped. Paul <laughs> Tassie must be stopped. Someone, a grown man or woman or potentially not grown, a human being went to the effort to actually make a Reddit post. Paul Tassie must be stopped. <laughs> and then other people joined in. And it's like, listen, guys, if you want to avoid spoilers, get off Reddit. Like, don't you're, you're, you're get off you're, socials. People, yeah. People were posting pictures and stuff on Reddit as well. It's saying the tower is taken. The tower is taken. They're all over Reddit too. It's like, it's, it's kind of an interesting debate going on, right? It's like, there are people saying, Hey, you should be more sensitive include a spoiler tag is it really that hard to include a spoiler tag and it's like next time i will for sure like i just didn't even consider it to be like something like i didn't you don't have to do a quest for it it just shows up right Mm -hmm. but that's something that you could do and then there's the other camp of people saying stay off twitter like if you're that sensitive to it you know it's weekly reset you know if anything's going to happen it's going to be on that tuesday don't go on twitter until you get home and get to play it but it's like but it's like when the secret missions pop and it's like, yeah. and it's like, oh my god, there's a taken blight on IO, and now there's this crazy mission. Everyone's yeah. posting about it. It's like, oh well, I wanted to, I wanted to discover that new secret before anyone else did. And it's like, well, everyone knows that, about it. That right there is a great freaking point, right? And and that makes people like myself. I'm just gonna point to myself because I was the one who got flamed for for tweeting it out. That makes my job extremely difficult because I basically have to decide on the fly what some random dude in Iowa thinks is a spoiler, right? It's just like, I, I, I don't know this guy. I've never met this guy. Or I'm just saying these random people, what they personally think is spoilers. Like you said, right. if there's a new exotic mission, people are tweeting about that right away. How is that not a spoiler, right? right. Like people tweeting, for example, the Harbinger mission. For the first time, it's out. People are tweeting spoilers from inside the there. The screenshots everywhere. Another Presage. Presage goes yeah. live at reset. This is very similar. Presage is live at reset. Screenshots everywhere of this. Again, that totally counts as a spoiler. In fact, that's almost more of a spoiler than the freaking t- change of the tower. And I'm sure, I'm sure there are going to be some people who are mad. That's like, hey, why are you going to tweet out the presages here, right? But it's yeah. like... At the same time, you have people who want to be informed. 
people would be pissed if I didn't tweet anything out and just kept it to myself. If I was the one who just... <laughs> You're running around yeah. with Whisper and, and everyone's like, yeah. where? Where did you do it? I'm just going to say, yo, suck it, boys. Watch like, I don't my guy right. on your own. Watch my guy. You I mean, gotta, I should do that, honestly. It's like it's the like, 1990s, man. You got to um, go to Walmart, go to the gaming section, find a video game strategy guide and find it in there. I ain't going to tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. I and retire so, from YouTube. <laughs> I'm, not, exactly. I'm not spoiling it. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, it, it is weird. It's like, what what constitutes a spoiler? Obviously, if it's leaked story info, that's going to happen weeks from now. That's I'm right. Not gonna, that's obvious. I'm not going to tweet anything about that. But if it's live in game, I think it's fair game. And, you know, and I think, because again, it's like, People were posting screenshots of the Vault of Glass and and the boss room and Atheon is and and loot. Is that not spoilers? Again, so it's like, where do you draw the line? Yeah. At some point, you have to say, listen, if you follow a bunch of Destiny content creators, they're going to tweet out cool stuff that's happening in Destiny. And some of that may be a little spoilery. Exactly. Exactly. You're you someone it. you're someone that is going out of your way to follow the people that make videos about that game are going to inform their audience about that game. When something changes in game, the the gunsmith has a new gun. They're going to tell you. And so if you don't that, want yeah. that, then like don't I, follow I, them. I, I said I said actually a funny interaction I had on Twitter. Someone I said like, well, isn't tweeting out that there's a good truth teller you can buy? Doesn't that also count as a spoiler? He's like, no, it's different. I'm like, you realize you have to walk through the tower to get to the gunsmith you like see the entire tower like obviously if you're trying to look at what the gunsmith is offering you're gonna see the tower being taken and be like hey what's this about as well right it's just like oh bro and, and again it's like at some point it, but people don't want to it's like it's never my fault everyone has to change for me i can't just go, not be on twitter on a tuesday everyone else needs to do whatever yeah. so i but think then- in the same t- yeah i should Maybe next time throw in a spoiler tag just in case because mm-hmm. people can mute that word and that is a good solution. Or be wary of Tuesday resets, you know? Yeah. Now, one of the things is like a lot of people were also complaining though that it's like yeah, nice. This is the other angle of drama. You know, like nice taken balls. Nothing changed. Zaval is chilling. He's got his arm behind a taken. And, yeah. like, you know, there's no women like, my babies are going to get snatched by the by <laughs> There's like Sabbath. a taken... <laughs> blight like yeah. right next to zavala it's like another Sucking dimension him in and he's opening like, up <laughs> his hair yeah, yeah he's like getting sucked up by the blight so, and he's like are you ready to do some bounties guardian <laughs> you're like this Brother. i actually i actually thought this whole thing was a really interesting topic this week frankly you know you had some um published some publications out there like polygon even covered it and they're basically saying the same thing like we need things that are cool like this, but also that don't break your immersion in the game. And this is all also a, um, a much debated topic on the Reddit threads as well. Because what you have is a situation where this season you've got Bungie's telling some really cool narratives. And uh, spoiler alert, if you if you aren't caught up to date with the story this, this week in Destiny, you may want to tune out for the next two, three minutes. But basically what we've got going on is everything's kind of coming to a head. You've got this potential coup happening where they want to overthrow the Vanguard and replace them with some other people. And it's like this really tumultuous situation. It's high intensity. And then you go to the tower and like Savathun's presence is like there, you know. But but then all that immersion gets broken because there's all this narrative saying, hey, this is like a crux moment. This is high intensity. Everything's on the line. Everything you know about your day-to-day in Destiny could change next week. And then you go to the tower and all like, Hello, Guardian. Would you like yeah. to have some bounties today? And, you know, you're walking by the postmaster and haven't heard from Fenchurch today. And it's like, dude, there's Savathun is looking at you through a blight. And you're worried. Fenchurch is gone, lady. Like, you need to be worried about other things right now. And it really does kind of break that immersion. This high intensity situation you got in Destiny completely shattered by mm. like no move- NPCs having any different reactions. Yeah, like move Ikora by Zavala and someone else and they're looking out towards the blights and like you know you can still interact with them but you know maybe they got to turn around and like they're focused on something else you know one extra line of dialogue be like I can't believe the taken presence has reached all the way here or like that's it or like or like I only have a minute to discuss this and then like here's your bounties and then like I gotta get back to work you know like go do some shit but I certainly rather they do this than not I I don't like that's that's and that's why it's I'm a little send 
Yeah. When people are complaining, you got to say, listen, guys, like, you're right. You're right. Like, it is weird that the gunsmith and Zavala and Ikora, no one cares about the Taken Blights. You're 100% right. But then you got to ask yourself, hold on, would Bungie have the resources to do this if they had to change a bunch of dialogue for all the... There's a crap ton of NPCs in the tower. Like, yeah. are you going to just change Zavala and Ikora? Or are you going to change Amanda Holiday? What about... um? Say 14 when he come when he's available for the weekend. What about Zur? What about the uh, uh, Ada One? You have the Drifter. You have so many f- Hawthorne. Is she finally gonna stop saying what does she say? <laughs> you just don't quit, do you? This She's is my like, bird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just don't you quit. You see, do Lewis ya. is like trying to get out of the blight, yeah. getting sucked yeah, in. Yeah, he's sucked into the blight. <laughs> you just never quit, do you? If, like, Lewis, they, <laughs> if they did put the effort in and get voice clips from all those different actors, that would be fantastic. But if they kind of, if they had to do that, potentially they would have just said, "Let's just not do this. It's too much work." Mm-hmm. So they split the difference and now it looks amazing, but there's no extra dialogue. Uh, so I, again, I rather them do this than not. I think they could have gone a step further because I think may, people's complaint is like, this is so cool. Keep up the immersion. Like I'm sure you can call Lance Riddick and say, we just need one freaking line for Zavala about these taken blights. He'd have been like, okay. Yeah. He's like the Destiny community loves me. Sure. Yeah. <laughs>